Hi, Brent. Hi, Nori. Congratulations on your first year. Is this your celebration? <laughs> this is it. I still feel like I'm waiting for something, though. Have you heard of the X Energetics Company? Of course. Their news is all over the net. I'm actually reading about them right now. Well, okay, could you take off the glasses? I can't tell whether you're looking at me or that network display. Sorry, Nori. You should try it. It's the best way to stay connected. No, I'll stick with the newspaper, even if that does put me behind the times. You and X Energetics. Did you know that they're still running on a single flat network? Mm-hmm. That's why their solar facilities were taken offline. They couldn't handle the additional network traffic. So that's the undisclosed reason. Mm -hmm. And that is why I'm sending you in there. Me? Mm -hmm, you're ready. How do I begin? The network administrator's name is Terry. Investigate their issues, implement a solution, and get in there before what's left is sold for scrap. Moving out? We're shut down. Are you Terry? Yes. Do you have my final paycheck? I'm not with the company. My name's Bren. I'm with Network Investigations. I'm here to see if I can get your solar facility online and functioning again. Let's go. Welcome to the North facility. As you can see, we're out of sight and mind to the company. I certainly have kept you in the dark. Is it like this at the three other facilities? We're all disconnected from the network. Well, have you tried subnet masking? We got through planning, but didn't have anyone with the expertise to execute. I assume that's why you're here? First, we're going to need to get online with the other facilities. We're all going to need to work together. So, what happened to your solar program? X Energetics wasn't getting real-time statistics. They needed to monitor our photovoltaic megawatt results. So, no results equates to no reason to keep you online? but reason enough to keep destroying the planet by burning fossil fuels. Let's see if we can turn that around. Famshi? Hi. Famshi is the net admin for our South facility and our nanotechnologist. How you doing, Famshi? Terry, I hope this isn't goodbye. Hold that hope. Let me get the others on the call. Tama? Hi, Terry. Hold on, let me put you on speakerphone. Tama is the net admin for the East facility and designed the solar machinery. How you doing, Tama? You know, I just can't bring myself to pack up yet. You may not have to. Hang on. Callum? Truce? Callum is the net admin for the West facility and was the original innovator of the corporate solar array. Hi, Callum. Terry, are you calling with a solution? That's why I'm conferencing you all in. Meet Bren, the network investigator. Hello, everyone. My main objective is to get you online and functioning, but I need some background information first. X Energetics is running on a single network. Then we added the solar program and all its hosts. Putting an additional strain on the network. Creating congestion, which delayed the timely sharing of critical data. Specifically, they weren't able to monitor our solar energy systems and check the environmental statistics, since that real-time data ran into latency problems on the single broadcast domain. Now, I know you've gone through this before, but let's redefine the basics, okay? What's a subnet mask? It's a 32-bit combination used to describe which portion of an address refers to the subnet and which part refers to the host. Make me understand these terms, address and subnet. Okay, let's break it down. An IP address is the unique number ID assigned to one host or interface in a network. And the subnet is a portion of the IP address which defines the network domain. Each of your devices has an IP address. Terry and I try to explain to the network engineers that they need to correctly divide up the network domain or else we're going to have a flat network. Right, planning is key. So, let's get to it, okay? Each of you are in a different location around the globe and have functions according to your area. So, let's break it up into areas and use one subnet per area. Wonderful. All we have to do is add our hosts to the network as per the, the subnet scheme. We'll start with the addresses from the internet. Internet Network Information Center, starting with the private addresses from RFC 1918. So we'll subnet our traffic following the 80-20 rule. Yes, since 80% of traffic is local and 20% is external to the facility. Well, you seem to know a lot about this. <laughs> Tama and I have been trying to prevent the congestion of links on the backbone. Well, why don't you explain your planning? Well, the IP subnet mass can be used to divide up an existing network into subnetworks or subnets. The purpose of subnetting allows you to create multiple logical networks that exist within a single class A, B, or C network. 
Since we're still offline, why don't you read out the information so we can all understand? To subnet a network, you need to extend the Classful 24 bit mask using some of the bits from the host portion to create a subnet. We'll use the private address of 192.168.100.0 and the mask of 225.225.225. And subnet using the last octet, right? Yes, use the last octet and borrow three bits. Now this creates six usable subnets with 30 hosts per subnet. Now since we have four locations, we can have one subnet per location. That's a mask of 225.225.225.224. So for each of your locations, there'll be an IP address range from which each of you need to assign an address to your solar machinery. This gets each device onto the network and in their respective subnets so you can you know, get your statistics in a timely manner. All right, now using a 27-bit mask. For East Facility, your address is 192.168.100.32. So you'll be using host numbers ranging from 33 and 62. Now for South Facility, your address is 192.168.100.64, and your range is from 65 to 94. For West Facility, your address is 192.168.100.96, and you'll assign your solar devices from the ranges of 97 to 126. Now as for us in North Facility, our address will be 192.168.100.128, and we'll assign equipment numbers that range between 129 to 158. Okay? Congratulations. It looks like they're connected. Thanks. It's good to be able to see the impact of all that work. Speaking of, they should be online right about now. Uh -huh.